Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing a dinner date kind of makeup um, because you never know your husband, partner, boyfriend or girlfriend might want to take you out for a dinner date and if this is something that you could be interested or could be of use to you, well stick around and let's get started. Starting with skincare, I will be using all Augustinus Bader products beginning with the Essence. followed by the eye cream and then the rich cream And I will finish this skin prep with a lip balm. Then on to complexion, I will begin first with this color corrector from Charlotte Tilbury. And for concealer and foundation, I will be using the Luminous Silk from Armani Beauty. Then the foundation, because it's a dinner date, so you will be sitting quite close to someone, and unless it's a candlelit dinner, you might want to go easy with your foundation. So I'm just really putting a series of dots on areas where I feel I want more coverage. See, and then using this brush, I'm just going to buff that very, very lightly. So you want to create an illusion of a naturally beautiful skin.
focus on how much I love this foundation. This used to be my go-to foundation for a lot of bridals. And after so many years, it still is so good. A lot of foundation have come and gone. But something like this, which is really classic, will really stay. And then warming up my fingertips, I'm going to press that all over my face just to really make the products sit a lot more seamlessly. Then onto this another product from Armani. This is the Neo Nude Melting Color Balm. I will be using this for more of a facial structuring kind of thing. Kind of thing. This is my first time using this product and I have to say, it's really impressive. Yeah, it just gives a very nice contour color because it's cool toned so it doesn't create that orangey kind of bronzy color and it just really defines the bone structure. I'm not sure if you could see that from my camera but looking at my mirror I could really see that it's a very good contour color. I need to get more of this. And I'm also going to use a tiny bit of this to define my eyes because this is also for eye. If you want to create that really nude look, I think this would be a very good product for that. I might use it actually to film another video just for that. And for blush, I will be using this cheek jelly from Shantikai. This is another very good product because you only need very little of it and it goes a long way. It's really good for creating that really healthy glow. I've tried the other color of it and I really loved it. So this is Happy. The other one is Vibrant. really patting it on the very apples of my cheek. So that's the complexion done but I'm not gonna powder it just yet because I want to allow all these wet products to really settle and merge onto my skin. I will be going to the eyes now and I will be creating a really soft a bronzy smoky eyes and I will be using this eyeshadow from Shantikai together with this Costa Roche eye pencil from MAC. Starting with the eye pencil, I'm just going to massage that on my lash line.
and using a pointy brush, I'm going to smudge that. That would create a very nice base for the eyeshadow. And if you're someone like me who really wants to take their time, you know, blending eyeshadow, just do one eye at a time. And how you do the shape is entirely up to you. You could really make it winged out or you could just really round it out. So that depends on your mood depends on your eye shape as well so I'm doing here a combination of both so it's a little bit winged because I want to extend my eyes but also rounding it and then going in with this bronzer here from Charlotte Tilbury which I will be using later as well using a floppy brush going to diffuse the edge to make it softer then going back again with this pencil I'm just going to do the lower lash line now mainly concentrating on the outer corner and then smudging it with the same brush Then onto this bronzy eyeshadow using a small flat brush. This is such a beautiful product. Sometimes I feel really bad using products like this because they are so beautifully made. <laughs> I'm just going to lay that on top of that brown eyeliner. So I'm just really patting it gently. And I'm also going to use it on my lower lash line. Going back again with this fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend that to soften the edge of that brown eyeshadow as well. Then onto lashes, I will begin first with this eyelash curler.
and the mascara also from Shantikai. There's a lot of Shantikai going on today but this is not a brand sponsored video. And to finish these lashes, I'm just popping in this new lash that I discovered from the Philippines. This is Fabulash SN11. And shout out to my good friend Momo Isute for bringing them over all the way from the Philippines. I mean, I love my Glad King Divisoria lashes. But this is bam like very natural looking but really amplifies your lashes now on to brows i will begin first with this brow pencil from mac And then I'm going to set them off with this clear brow gel from MAC as well. And again, you want to create a defined but somehow soft eyebrows. Then onto this bronzer just to give a bit of warmth onto my complexion. And for powder, I will be using this much loved Charlotte Lowry powder. Just mainly on my teaser. And using the same brush, I will be going in with this highlighter. And finally for lips, I will be using these two products from the Bouge Rouge, starting with this lip pencil.
And I'm just going to finish everything with this Caudalie Beauty Elixir. And there you have it, a very glam but very simple dinner date look for your Valentine's Day. Well, that's assuming I get to finish editing it and upload it in time for your Valentine's Day. But nevertheless, I think this is such an all-year-round look and you don't need to have a specific date or occasions for you to do this makeup. I think that whatever celebration you will be having this year, this look will do. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I love doing it. As always, if there's a look or challenge that you want me to do for you, just put it down in the comment section and I will try my very best. And I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up, give this channel a follow if you haven't yet, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will be notified on my latest updates. My socials are down here as well, so let's give each other a follow. And with all that said, I hope to see you again on my next one. Always remember, keep safe and be kind to yourself. Bye!